Next up, at UFC Vegas 90, we have Norma Dumont taking on Jermaine Durandamy. This is another fight where people look at it and they make snap judgments just looking at the names, but the reality is this is Chinese Norma. Oops. (laughs) <laughs> Oops. what Oops. the fuck <laughs> oh i must not have switched the flags after snorted. doing alate I, I, just snored. I don't know did you hear that i just snored i've never no. snored in my life i don't know why that was so funny chinese norma Jeez. i must have i i used every time i do a fight norma i use the Yadong, same graphic huh? i do the next one norma yadong yeah <laughs> This, these two flags. This is uh, your boy, Jean Nakamura. Anyway, we got Norma Dumont taking on Jermaine Durandamy. Norma Dumont, 10 and 2 overall, 4 and 1 in her last five, riding a three fight win streak. She's taking on Jermaine Durandamy. 10 and 4 overall, 4 and 1 in her last five. She's coming back after more than three years away, and I do believe she had a child in that time off. But the reason I say this is a hard fight to just make snap judgments on because people are going to see Norma, who's good, she's big, she's getting things done, active, relevant, taking on a much older layoff style fighter. But you got to look a little closer. Jermaine Durandamy is the first ever women's featherweight champion of the world. Jermaine Durandamy has beaten some of the best female fighters of all time. She is 46-0 and in kickboxing before she moved over to MMA. She's beaten three former and current world champions. Jermaine Durandamy has one of the best resumes that just goes completely unrecognized. And I get it. The insanely long layoff. She doesn't have a ton of finishes in the UFC. She's just out pointing people on their feet. I get all of that. But the reality is Jermaine Durandamy, while she is older is a very, very good fighter, a very skilled kickboxer who has developed very good takedown defense. Her only two losses in the UFC are both to Amanda Nunes, both of them. And then she has wins over Holly Holm. She has wins over three, three UFC champions. She's taking on Norma Dumont. We all know Norma at this point, solid striker. She's patient in the cage. Her striking is technical, good takedown defense, very good strike differential. If she ends up on top, I'm, and I'm, I'm not mentioning her behind. Is that why you're freaking out over there, dropping things? Just imagining what the back of this graphic looks like? Uh, Jermaine is not Brazilian either. So, Yeah, I told you I got the flags wrong, dickhead. She's a freaky deaky Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Nora Dumont is very big, very well-rounded. She uses her size well. She comes forward, primarily a striker, but she can work in some grappling and just likes to bully. She's got very good high fight at IQ, and she's coming off that fight where she rocked Chelsea Chandler early and then just had Chelsea literally running around the cage, avoiding her at all costs. She does have 11 takedowns in eight UFC fights. What are we continuing to laugh at? <laughs> dude, all these comments are so funny, dude. Oh, just about Norma? Dude, someone said Norma Class B Drivers Dumont, which I assume means you can drive a tra- tractor trailer. <laughs> 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 so funny. Oh, shit, man. Sorry, well, Norma. either way, listen, if this fight was a few years ago, I might go Jermaine. Honestly, she's the better striker. She just straight up is the better striker. And she's got very good takedown defense. But she is 39 years old. There was a three-year layoff. I think she had a child in that time span. So I can't pick her here. But I'm not going to bet on Norma either. I think you just sort of avoid it and see what happens here. Norma should win. She's younger. She's more active. But she's not the better striker. She just isn't. So if she's getting outstruck... She's going to need to rely on the wrestling and the grappling. And while she does have that success, Norma is big, but Jermaine's bigger. She was the 145-pound champion. So I am going to pick Norma here. I'm going to lean youth, speed, agility, all that stuff. But Jermaine is the better striker, and Norma's going to need to wrestle. What do you think, Jakey boy? Yeah, this is a lot of people are going to be in, in question the, the layoff, which I get, right? I mean, four years is a long time, especially when coming off. I think she had a kid with an injury yeah. on top of it. And, you know, 
if even if you're 30 years old in your prime, that's a that's a that's a long time. And on top of yeah. it, she is like 39 years old. The good news is, especially in this type of division, you know, kind of the the the, the bigger girl type of division. I don't think the layoffs matter quite as much because not none of these girls are like crazy fast strikers. So getting your timing back is not really that big of an issue. So this isn't like a, a 155 pound guy coming in trying to find his timing in this fast paced fight. I think she can be able to work into this, and it's not that quite of an issue. And because of that, I kind of like her in this fight. Norm Dumont has shown really nice improvements every single time she fights. And what I really liked in that last fight with with Chelsea Chandler. Was that fucking nastiness, man? She was nasty in that fight, even before the fight, dude. When she was yelling at Chelsea Chandler in the back after Wayne's whatever it was in Portuguese. If I didn't watch that video at night before I went to bed a <laughs> hundred times, that was the most incredible. Hearing somebody yelling, I've never heard somebody yell angrily as a female in Portuguese changed my fucking life I, I watched that clip so many times i'm like yeah this is what i want right here right here norma demont's getting pretty nasty but she needs to be in the pocket with her striking right she wants to be in the pocket getting you get a clinch position maybe maybe get you to the takedown but she needs to be in that distance and i think she's gonna fucking struggle because it's not like she's got good footwork to kind of cut angles to get in there she's just gonna walk straight forward move her head a little bit and i think she eats a lot of shots and jermaine is able to kind of dance around pick her apart and really beat her up so if she can get a takedown or something that's probably the better path to victory but even closing the distance to get that and we've seen jermaine be dangerous even with with defense with her you know takedown defense with some missions and guillotines and stuff like that you know i think it's a tall task for nora demont i'll be pretty surprised especially if she makes this look easy but i gotta go jermaine here i think she's the better striker stays at range and uses that length so uh you know that's just what I'm, that's what i'm doing i'm surprised i'm surprised you're picking jermaine yeah i mean if it wasn't for the layoff 24 is about putting biases aside beauty aside horniness aside i am <laughs> rock hard but i cannot listen there you go. <laughs> but I have an ice pack and I am working on that situation, keeping the blood away from the brain so you can make proper decisions. I, I get it. Uh, the layoff is a concern for me. If it wasn't for the layoff and this was three years ago, I'm going Jermaine. But there is a layoff. It's not three years ago. And Norma can, I just think, be busier, stay in her face. And we're going to see maybe Jermaine takes over late and we end up with a 29 28. She takes the third round after she works out some of those cobwebs. But. We are split here again. Are you going to spend seventy six hundred dollars in DraftKings? Probably not worth it. Yeah, because it could just be kind of jab Striking. and then move yeah. and then jab and then move and then not really. It's not like I don't think she's going to be like crazy pressure. I don't think Jermaine's going to be pressuring her, so there's the, the strikes won't even really add up. And if she does get taken down or something, there you go. So there's probably better spots. What was um um Cynthia was seventy seven, seventy. So, I don't know. I yeah, think that's ish, better value. Yeah. Could be she because she downs. likely wrestles. Yeah. No, I, I actually agree with everything you said there. I don't think Norma's worth the 8,600 either because she's going to need to wrestle, I think. And while she may get some takedowns and that would score well, Jermaine is very big. Norma's not like a phenomenal wrestler. I think there's a lot of feeling out, a lot of distance stuff here. Could be some cage control, but um, Jacob and I are split here. I'm not going to spend the money. Neither is he in DraftKings Fantasy. But if you do want to check out our full DraftKings plays and slate, if you want to check out the optimizer, if you want access to the picks, the bets, the artificial intelligence picks, and more, just go to wewantpicks.com. Click become a member at the top. It is only $10 for an entire month. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.